Hello viewers, in this video we will be going over natural gas ETF ticker symbol UNG. In this video we will be going over day by day probability, we will go over how we found this model, and we will go over where natural gas will head to the next coming days. So back to the technical analysis, today we are down 1.5% on the 1 hour chart, we are still in negative MACD, and on the 4 hour chart, if we expand out to there, we were approaching to positive MACD, however, today we see a divergence and on the daily chart, we hit over all time lows on Friday. We are still very close to that level. We may possibly touch another all time low. At the moment, we see a possible resistance around the 18 day moving average. As indicated back in December 20th, we failed to breach uh, that moving average. So our next resistance will be the 18-day moving average, which is this purple line at the price of $17.64. And there's a price concentration around that range as well. And since we are below that floor, that act as our immediate resistance. As for support, the all-time lows of $16.82 will be our next support, which is the all-time lows marked and on Friday. So if we were to move down lower, the price movement is roughly around 1.3% to the downside. And if we were to reverse and head up higher, that price movement is roughly around 3.9% to the upside. So the forecast model is now available in the link below so do check it out for natural gas we have UNG UGAS DGAS and we'll go we, and this model has the models that we won't be going over with in the video so do check it out for the forecast so we'll go day by day where natural gas will head to the next coming days so we have one day out two days out three days out four days out five days out six days out and seven days out so which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. Right here, we have the current trend, and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to May 7th to August 1st, 2014. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have in the beginning of the trend, we start off touching the bottom Bollinger Band, and then we proceeded to touch the upper Bollinger Band. After touching the upper Bollinger Band, we see slowly drift lower and averaging below the middle Bollinger Band for several weeks. So we see those points and we are nearing the middle Bollinger Band as well. So in the trend in question, we start to see a similar pattern as well. We start off touching the bottom Bollinger Band, next the upper Bollinger Band, and then afterwards we see a drift lower and averaging below the bottom or middle Bollinger Band. And we also start to see it slowly reverting back to the mean or the middle Bollinger Band. So what we have is one, two, three points. We also have one, two, three points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was May 7th, 2014 to August 1st, 2014. Back then, natural gas was up around 4.4%. So let's head to the day-by-day -day probability model. So on here, we see overall a slight, a higher favor of heading down or in the lower standard deviation. As indicated on the seventh day, there's 50% chance. And as for upper first standard deviation, second standard deviation, we have a slight possibility of hitting 4 to 8% in the next coming days. This is the highest extreme case. As we see here, there's no extreme cases where we head much lower. But there is a 50% chance we may head lower between zero to four percent. So overall, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. And this is how we found this model. We just compared the current trend with the 2014 trend. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.